Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and to Skullgirls Mobile. So, um, this video, I think it's long overdue and basically it's exploiting, not exploiting, exploring um, why I am having such a tough time with Skullgirls, specifically like... <sighs> What I'm trying to say, I guess, is there's a huge problem in this game. And I think developers try to make it good, but is it's just it's just not working. I'm sorry, it's just not working. I know, and this is not me talking. I've seen so many people in the chat complaining about it and saying, and I agree with them because it's very sound complaint. Um the basically what I'm talking about is there is n there is no re there is no um, logical reason behind silver characters or any character in this game to take up so much time to level up. What I'm trying to say is, if you've played this game, you're pretty much aware of how the system works. You level up a character to their maximum and then you ascend them or evolve them, whatever you want to call it. I believe it's ev evolving them. Um, but the main thing is, there is, it takes so much time to level up a simple silver character to its maximum level that it gets to a point where you just have to constantly grind. And when you come to grind, you have nowhere you can grind it. You get what I mean? And what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, okay, so what they recently did and this is an example, is they basically freed the amount of XP you get from uh, from origin, from the main stories, and I believe origin stories. What I'm trying to say is you get the same amount of XP you used to get as the first time you beat every story. Now, the problem, it seems like it's a good solution, right? Well, not so much, considering that the higher you go, the more XP you will get, on top of that, you cannot level up the characters you want simply because there is something called restrictions that are on the levels, on you. In other words, you, there's restrictions on the type of character you must use on the nude, on these like nodes, uh, which, which basically this is, Ascent of the Woman is the highest like the, the last story till now that you have, and it obviously has a tons of XP, but you will not be able to get that XP simply, simply, simply because you have restrictions that you must follow. Now, I do not, I absolutely do not, don't agree with that because I feel like if you've beaten these what they should have done, and it's just, I don't think it's my personal opinion, I think it's something that a lot of people were complaining, and I've seen a lot of comments in the chat saying this, what sh they should have done is, once you finish, the, for example, a level, remove the player restrictions, remove the restrictions, you've done this level, that's it, you've done it, remove the restrictions, or allow us to at least, since we've done it, like, or type, for example, restrictions that were on this level or something like that, but just remove the restrictions and allow us to use the characters we want in order to level them up. Because first of all, the another thing, it does not really give you a lot of uh, to work with, a lot of things to work with. And before you ask, I've tried to... And here is my, here's what I'm trying to say. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel very salty. Like I want to go in there, right? There you go for a moment. Okay. See, you cannot, I need to level up, obviously, pain wheels to get a blood drive. I cannot go into fighting mode because you must have, must have these characters on your team. In other words, why? Why are you doing this? There's no need. I've won the original game. Please allow me 
please please allow me to uh, use the characters I want to level up. On other things, this XP boost, double XP, doesn't do anything. It doesn't give you a lot of XP. Unless you're doing prize fights. I'm gonna be honest. It's the best way to do, uh, to level up. However, again, there's, even here, there's a problem. Not all prize fights are good for leveling up characters. A lot of prize fights, price fights you cannot afford to level up your character because a there's again restrictions or modifiers that will stop you another thing that it just pisses me off is that you cannot use bronze characters here because again the golden one is the only one is the best one to gain a lot lots of xps and if i can't use my silver uh, sorry my bronze it just puts me in it's just awkward for me and uncomfortable and I feel like it's a lot of grind specifically because silvers take so much so so much to level up silvers it's like from the 30 from the stage from the level 30 to level 40 it takes like I don't know probably I'm not trying to exaggerate but I think 11 12 fights that will give you uh, that will allow you to just jump 10 levels in silver and we are talking about silver characters which are not should not be that hard to level up i i get that they're important also to the game but at the same time come on it's it's a bit for me it's a bit sad and oh, at the same time i'm i'm ready to cry sometimes because again i've been I could have been so far in this game than I am currently. The main reason I don't have a lot of diamonds is not because I I am lazy. It's just I get to a point where I'm tired. I am it gets to a point that I'm tired and I just don't want to grind far more than needed. Okay? And I'm just tired of grinding and grinding and like... It gets me, it got me a little bit upset and I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. I've been grinding for Eliza because I need her skill points to unlock my inner pieces. And at the same time, I am grinding for, for pain meal for my beautiful, beautiful fly trap. But it just... I don't know if it's just issue with me, and I've been talking a lot about it for seven minutes, and I think it's it shouldn't be that much, but I'm just saying that this is not fair, or maybe not the fair is the word that I'm searching for. Um, this is should not be removed. It's like a core mechanic of the game. There should be enough XP, and you shouldn't be you shouldn't be stressed and feeling like and turning this game into basically a stress site because you have to grind so many xp to level up a certain character you know i don't know if it's just me but it's something that is overdue and i hope that one day developers see this message and take it into consideration i'm just gonna say this these double xp boosts are not doing anything and a lot of some of the price fights are not helping the only actually good one that raises your xp a lot is the golden one the silver one and the bronze one do not raise your XP a lot. So, again, you have that blocked off. Daily events, in daily events, same thing. First time you pass, you get decent amount of XP. And when I say decent, I only mean in the cruise experiment, you get a lot of XP first time you pass through. Second time, it's way downplayed. It's very little which I don't understand why. I mean, I mean, come on, it's here for a whole week. Like, allow us at least to have to grind here so we could just get the XP. We're not asking, I don't think this is asking too much. But this is a rant. I know it's, it's turning into a rant, a rant, and I can go on and on about how it, it just turns a game that you're supposed to play and enjoy into a big hassle. And I love this game. I really do. It's one of the one of the 
one of my favorite mobile games and it's something I always come back to play and I enjoy. The reason I stopped talking in the video is because I just like other all other viewers enjoy the music, the voices, the voice acting that there's a little, the lines that the characters say. I enjoy the sounds that they make. I just love it. I love the sounds of the moves, of the of everything else, which is why I stopped talking and I allowed the game to have its course because it's it's part of the experience. And excuse me for any outer voice, outer noise that comes into this video. But yeah, this is basically why I have been so long in... Why I haven't gone back, I've been a little bit disappointed in myself, basically, because I've got to a point where I just, I just can't grind anymore for XP. It's just too much, and it gets annoying very quickly. And with the recent up AI update, it got a little bit harder to grind. So, I just, I don't know, maybe, I feel like they should should do something about it. And if you want to buy, there's no pack for XP and there's no pack to buy for XP. And this is actually, if there were like packs of XP, I can spend my Thionite on it. I would do it. I would literally buy with my Thionite packs of XP, potions for XP, I don't know, injections for XP, just to get my character, just to avoid all this giant amount of grinding I have to do to level up a single character. Now, what ways they could have made it? As I said in the stories, they when you once you finish, like, it's not necess necessary to finish 100%, but at least the stages that you finish, like, remove the restrictions. Seriously. Restrictions are there for one purpose and one purpose only. For you to play the first time. Okay, and to be a little bit challenged. But then after that, if you finish this playing, like remove the restrictions. Please, it's just, it gets to a point where it's just too much. Like you have restrictions and you can't even get the to level up the characters you want, which is a little bit underwhelming, like I've said before. Just remove them, there's no need for them. Another thing they could have done is, as you know, when you play in any, they could have cranked up a little bit the daily events, and I mean the amount of XP you get on the master level, because it feels like the master level, and I'm not saying that to crank up difficulty, because some of these daily events I just completely avoid, because they're a lot of hassle, specifically the master levels. However, the XP that you get in master levels, again, is not too much. It's not that much. Even with XP boost, the only actually worthy XP you get is in a cruise experiment the first time you pass through it. Same thing, a lot of... And the second time you're passing through it, you will find that there's a, a significantly less amount of XP. Price fights could have, uh, could have gotten better in XP department. Um, the story mode, like I've saw, said, they could have removed the restrictions or made at least or given the story mode moods uh, better XP packs or better XP in general. Another thing that they could have done, which would be actually very very cool, like I was so excited when they announced deployment because I said, hey, if deployments come, I can actually send all the characters I want to level up into the deployments. However, even here, there's there are restrictions. And this XP that goes, it's like goes to characters I don't want it to go to, okay? I don't want it to go to these characters. I want to, I want to use characters I want to use, not the ones that the game is forcing me to use, okay? It's, or, it's already, there's already very little XP you are giving. Just why not allow, why not give us something a little bit better? 75,000 XP is basically, let me tell you, I think two or three levels in silver. Like if you're, if you're in 30s, in 30, you get two, probably the best two plus two levels in silver and sometimes in gold zero. Uh, also depends depends on um, on level of your golden character that you're sending but this is basically my uh, 
problem and this is why it's taking me so long as you can see i have no problem getting coins in fact my only problem with upgrading my um my fly trap is the skill points is the skill points and basically i it takes me it would probably take me like what six seven 20 day 20 20 days to finish a fly trap i don't think it's much because it's a diamond it requires a lot of coins but even more it, it requires a lot of skill points that i don't have and for them to get, to get me to get more skill points i have to level up a ton of characters which again it's not enough xp and i feel like it's a major setback for this game and if the developers don't fix it it will create more issues later on because it it's just when a game turns into a hassle and when a game turns into grind and endless grind it becomes uninteresting i think a lot of players will get to a point where they just they will just start leaving this game and it's a sad but this is a reality if you if you get to a point especially those who are playing this game for so long they get to a point where they get bored with the same thing like you oh i need le to level up these characters i need to level up these 20 characters but there's not enough xp and in this prize fight i cannot level up these characters you know you get to this point and i don't feel like I don't want this to happen and and i feel it's like i don't know if it's just in this game but xp is very important to leveling up the characters and to making adv advancements if it takes you so much to it if it takes you so much to level up a silver character to its fullest potential it's it means it's bad development or it's miss opportunity i want to say it's miss opportunity on the developer's part it should not be this hard to level up a character and again i don't know if i'm talking about it's not me just saying this you know i i want to say i want to say it's not just me saying this because i've seen it so many times in the chat so many people have commented about how why is there no packs again to buy packs for xp why is there nothing for xp why do you have to grind a lot to level up characters who are silver a lot of people have been a, a little bit uh, discouraged by this thought and it's and it just at first I didn't understand this, but now uh, that I'm grinding for it, yeah, I get what they what they mean. And yes, they are right. It's it isn't supposed to be like that. So if I hope this video reaches at least one of the developers and again, I love this game a lot. It has so many unique features not many mobile games have. I love the art i love the concept but just guys the xp there's need to be there's needs to need need some measures i'm sorry i'm just tripping over my own thought and basically my tongue is just <laughs> is just not not cooperating today um there's needs to be some resolution it just can't stay this way and i think i've talked a lot about it and i think that is enough but it's just, I hope that the people or one of the developers of, or if you can share this video with some of the developers would actually do something about this. Because again, farming XP is becoming unbearable. And I think they realized that because it took them, they've done this, they freed the XP in story mode and they added boosts because they they are aware of how little xp you are gaining in this game and it's a bit unbalanced so i know this is the, this probably isn't the video that you're that some people are waiting for but i hope if you can send this video to someone or this video if you can make this video reach the ears of the developers i would be very thankful for you and like and like and like this video so it more players of this game will see it and it will have a little bit more closure but it's seriously the reason it's taking me so long to even get somewhere with some characters is because i'm taking 
way too much time to level them up. And I hope the next video I will have a more a better um, content. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye bye.